guys welcome back to my channel today i am doing this amazing amazing dress that i picked up i am in love with this thing i love the waterfall um shape of it you know how it arches at the top that's what sold it to me and i absolutely love it i am going to be doing this um i really want to do that fluted look so that's what i am going to be doing with this dresser the first thing that i'm doing is giving it a super good clean i am cleaning it with dawn dish soap so any dish soap would do some um and some um antibacterial so antibacterial in there and uh, some degreaser so mix all of that together and i am giving it a really good clean when i was done i gave it a good rinse with this cloth that i'm using right now it's nice and wet with clean water and then i am going to leave it overnight to dry Okay, so the following day, I am taking off this trim, the trim that was on the dress, on the doors of the dresser, because I want to do the fluted look and this is going to be in my way. So I, it was super easy to kind of pull off. They were put in with brad nails. So I'm just using a flat uh, um, drill bit to get it off and it came out super easy uh, but this was a struggle i'm using pliers to kind of get rid of all the nails that are still stuck on the doors as well just to make sure that everything is nice and clean before i move to the next step okay so i wanted to get the base off because i wanted it to just end where the curve ends and I am using a saw to kind of do that. I'm not doing it. I'm getting help <laughs> to do it because I'm still frightened of these machines. So I got some help to, to do that um, just because I want the curve to be the edge of the dresser. I am so sorry that I've been doing quite a lot with this cabinet and I haven't shown you. Okay, so let's recap. I have removed that gap, that leg that was here because I really want to put my own. I want to raise this up okay so what i did was the the other back that was sitting here this bit was sitting like this like sitting up like this so what i did was i unscrewed it all and then i've attached it back with the same hinges that it came with there and over there and then what i'm gonna do is that i'm doing screws into these holes right here just to make sure that it holds perfectly down here so i was seriously like i get into here and i start doing things without thinking and then i i kind of finish and i think oh shoot i haven't shot that um my electric screwdriver is not a drill screwdriver isn't it it's not working so i am using a hand normal hand one so it's making this a little bit of a task but we'll get it in i've done all those screws over there i had to rescrew that those ones there as well to hold this front panel together because i wanted to keep that curve so yeah so it's it's time consuming without the, the screw but i guess in so many ways this is good because you don't um you don't really need all the like huge equipments to get stuff like this done don't get intimidated i was but i really wanted to tackle this can you see how this is flapping here? So all I'm going to do is remove, there's that one, that one I already removed there. It's just these two and then I will, oh, three, and then I will screw it back in just to make sure and I maybe add a couple here just to make it tight. I am using the same strip of wood that I used to do the entry table and my mitre saw box and my tiny little saw. And this was super easy to do because I just used the trim that I took off and I'm using that to kind of measure. So it's really easy for me anyway, this was easy. But if you don't have that, you can just line it, measure it. And this thing cuts super, super easy, which is why I went for this particular trim because it's so easy to cut. I got it from Home Depot. That's where I got them from and they were very inexpensive. So it didn't, it meant that I kind of kept my cost down. So I'm just measuring it and then cutting all the pieces that I need to do the fluted look on all the drawers and all the doors. Lights, 
So to glue it down, I am not using a brand nail. I'm doing the same thing I did with the dresser, which is just using Gorilla Wood Glue. Um, and then I am just kind of, this was easy for me because it was like a, a conveyor belt type of situation. I was trying to get it done as quickly as I could. So I just put the, the glue on all of it and then use a piece of wood to kind of level it out and then just turn them one after the other. And then I'm going to use my clamps to hold them down. I added the clamps on the side and also added all my cans and weight in the middle just to make sure that everything was nice and sturdy and that as it was drying it stuck to the doors update on the cabinet I have uh, primed it I used the bin primer uh, to prime it and um, it is looking really good let me show you what the primer looks like this is the primer that I used to prime it with so that's all done now um so i have primed it and then i used i am so sorry i thought i was recording it and i wasn't and i used a 220 grit sandpaper just to go over it again after it had been primed and the legs are looking much better now i have sanded all of that and what the base and everything is looking great so now it's time to paint i am using a black paint um i will find the name and i will link it in the description bar below but it is just is black and a navy blue paint so i am going to be custom making my own paint so i'm going to be using two parts of that to one part of this because i wanted more black but just with a hint of that navy blue in it We are nearing the finish line anyway so for my paint i kind of water it down a little bit because i was using a spray gun this was super exciting i added more paint in that by the way i just spray added just a little bit of water and i added more paint and this was so cool this took me so little time if you've never used a spray gun before buy one it is so inexpensive this particular one i'll link it in the description bar below for you it took literally less than seven minutes to spray all of this i mean each spray time it was so easy so quick and follow the directions on your paint when you're painting to i mean the drying time make sure that you're following that to make sure that your paint adhere properly I am using these um, legs that I picked up from Amazon. What I've done is I've added a piece of wood on either side just to make sure that it was all nice and level and I'm screwing, like making hole, drilling holes that my legs are going to go on and then I'm just going to screw them on nice and easy. This was like my happy place. We were almost done. This thing took forever to do, um, but I am so proud of myself. <laughs> I kept the legs black because I wanted very little distraction on this piece and I wanted it to look a little bit more, I don't know, less glam is the word I'm going to use. I thought just black on black would look really cool, um, but the handles are going to be different. But I just thought the whole piece for me just needed to be black. I felt that that was the right way to go for the handles like i said i am using um a gold handle um it's like they're half moon shaped handles i will show you them in a second and i drilled holes on the on the doors just to match where the handles were gonna go um yeah this was also another challenge <laughs> i know there's a kit that you can buy that helps you to kind of get this right i should buy one of those these are the handles that i'm using also from amazon i will link them in the description bar for you as well very inexpensive i got five in a set 
they were super inexpensive so they worked really cool i wanted to keep the cost down for this thing i didn't want to just i don't like the idea of just buying something over facebook for cheap and then spending ex exceedingly amount of money just to make it work so i wanted to keep the cost down but still make it look durable and beautiful and to fit the vision of what i wanted it to be and this is the finished product i am super happy okay before you say anything i know the handles on the doors are low i moved them after i recorded this so when you see the dresser the next time the handles will be slightly higher up um but i love how it turned out this was a label of love trust me this thing took me like two weeks to do but i am so so happy that i was patient i wasn't patient i had a few tantrums but i'm so happy that i stuck to it and it came out looking absolutely beautiful please comment below let me know what you think i love the fluted look it looks so elegant and beautiful which is what i really wanted um thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you stopping by if you are new please don't forget to subscribe i would love to hear what you guys thought about this piece i am looking forward to using it in my home i can't wait to show you where it goes thank you guys and i will see you in the next one bye